Hi everyone, welcome to Computing Millions. So today we're going to be talking about um, Unity's UNet, uh, and we're going to be going into how to set up the um, initial parts, like the game, the network manager, and that stuff, so you can start making your first uh, multiplayer game. So let's delete this shit. <clears throat> So, um, when using Unity, you're going to have to have a offline and online scene. Your offline scene is going to be your menus, and your online scene is going to be the actual game scene. So, first we're going to start off by creating um, two scenes. We're going to call this one Menu, and the next one, we're going to call it Game. And we're going to go into our build settings, make sure you add these, mine are already added. And next thing we're going to do is create a empty game object and call it network manager. And on that we're going to add two components, we're going to uh, add the network manager and the network manager hub. So what this uh, lets you do now is when you start it up you're gonna have the um, built-in GUI that Unity uses um, the old stuff but it allows you to click on the host which hosts the game for you or a client button which allows you to connect to a host or a server um, this you can later on change and create your own uh, UI and stuff so if you look into here, we have offline scene and online scene. So in there, we're going to drag our menu into the offline scene and game into the online scene. So now um, let's, let's just change the background of, um, oh shit, I did it opposite. One second. Delete this, go into our menu, and we're going to paste that. Um, so we're going to change the color of the background on our menu. So you can just see that we're actually transitioning into a different scene. So we're going to hit play, and if we go into host, you're going to see that it jumps into the game scene. Um, now when you're doing a multiplayer game you want to spawn in a player so let's say for example you're doing a um, multiplayer shooter or you're doing a platformer you're gonna want to spawn in the player locally um, and unity allows us to do this pretty easily by just going into spawn info and putting in a player prefab so I'm just gonna quickly create a example player um, it's just gonna be a cube with a network oh, and network well I can't spell network identity make sure you put network identities on anything that you want to spawn in <clears throat> so now we're gonna take this cube and drag it into our assets so now it's saved as a prefab now we can delete this out of here and we can now spawn in a player um, so now if we go in and we hit host you can see that our player is spawned in is this for us? no it shouldn't give us an error because now we put in the cube as our player object And that's it. Now you have it fully working. So now if you were to build this out, uh, just build it out as game.exe. And if we launch it, and launch this, we can host it. And this player can now join. And now if we look in here, 
you'll actually see that we have two different um, player objects. So one of them is ours and one of them is our clients. So now you have the basics of the setup done. So now you can go on to actually programming the uh, game. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the uh, notification bell so you can get more Unity Unit tutorials.